In this incident, two firefighters become trapped while ventilating a pitch roof. Now the intent of this training video isn't to criticize the firefighters or department involved, but what I would like to discuss is some aspects that can enhance the safety of this operation, as well as demonstrate an option for emergency egress when things go wrong. First, whenever possible, try to avoid placing your access ladder to the roof in front of or adjacent to any windows or doors that fire may vent from. Second, choose a ladder that allows you to extend the tip at least five rungs above the roof line. This will not only aid in visibility, but it will also allow for an easier transition on and off the ladder. Third, when personnel and time permit, try to establish a secondary means of egress as a backup to your primary access and egress ladder. You'll notice that these firefighters are not using a roof ladder. This is common for many departments when firefighters are operating on a roof pitch that's easily walkable. Keep in mind though that a roof ladder not only aids in footing, but it can also help to distribute your body weight over a larger surface area. This can be a lifesaver if the roof deck becomes compromised and gives way somewhere in between. When using a roof ladder on normal joist construction, choose a length that will allow the tip of the ladder to rest on the peak and the base to extend to the eave line. This will provide two major areas of support, the ridge board and bearing wall, and make operating on the roof safer. When not using a roof ladder, it is imperative that firefighters maintain situational awareness, including their current position on the roof, as well as avenues for egress. Depending on fire and wind conditions, visibility can go from 100% to zero in an instant. If not careful, a firefighter could easily step or fall off the edge of the roof. You'll notice that when the second floor flashes over, the firefighter's access ladder to the roof and only means of egress becomes involved in fire. Fortunately, firefighters on the ground notice this and are able to reposition the ladder to a more viable location. Due to their quick thinking and the assistance of fellow firefighters, both members on the roof were able to avoid serious injury. This close call definitely reinforces the importance of prevention but it also highlights the need to have a backup plan when things go wrong. Now let's take a look at an option for emergency egress using an escape system. If the firefighters are operating from a ladder and one side of the roof becomes untenable, they can climb to the peak and swing their ladder around to the adjacent side of the roof. Hopefully at this location, a secondary means of egress would have been established. But if not, the firefighters can climb down the ladder and attach their escape system directly to it. How they secure in is going to be based on the type of system they have. But in most situations, it's going to involve climbing down as low as possible and attaching in to the third and fourth rungs from the gutter line. In this case, the firefighters have a carabiner at the anchor end of their system, so they're simply going to wrap around the rung and clip back into the rope. Once connected to the ladder and attached to their belt or harness, they can exit off the roof. The key element to this operation is keeping the ladder down and flat on the roof surface. If you lean back too quickly and too far, you can start to pivot the ladder off the roof. Once you safely clear the edge, remember to always look below for any obstructions. If you have a last ditch anchoring device, one option is to simply hook it on the rung. The preferred method though is to wrap the hook entirely around the rung. Start by feeding the hook underneath and then forming a bite in the rope. Take this bite and insert it through the handle or hitching slot. Then take the loop and bring it around the top of the hook and tension off the rope. Finish by sliding your system to the side you're going to exit from. There are a couple methods for dismounting the edge. 
If the base of the ladder and one or more of the rungs extend past the eave line, it's safer to exit off the side. This technique will help prevent the ladder from being pivoted off the roof once loaded. The following demonstrations were performed on this roof, which has a 12 on 12 pitch. Any pitch greater than a 6 on 12 requires a roof ladder to operate safely, unless an aerial or tower ladder is used. When working from a roof ladder, firefighters have two options for anchoring, the ladder or the roof deck. If a ladder is not being used, then the roof deck may be your only option. The first step is to breach the roof. If you're not working from a ladder, secure your tool to the roof deck so that it doesn't fall off and injure any firefighters below. Place your hook into the breech and maintain tension as you work your way to the edge. It's important that you play out enough slack so that your DCD clears the gutter line as you pivot off the roof. Depending on construction and the composition of the roof, you may want to twist your tool to enlarge the opening. This can make it easier to insert your hook. When you get near the eave line, drop one leg down and make contact with the bearing wall. Pivot off this foot and lean back so your DCD clears the edge. Regardless of what leg you pivot from, always check below for any hazards or obstructions.